Peppermint OS is a Debian stash dev one based Linux distribution. Hello guys and welcome to Linux Realm. My name is Alex. Peppermint is an operating system that provides a user with the opportunity to build the system that best fits their needs while at the same time providing a functioning OS with minimum hassle out of the box. Actually I've been using it for a week now and I would like to see how far I can go with this one. The recommended system requirements for this distro are as follows. You need 4 GB of RAM, an X86-64 or an AMD64 processor and at least 32 GB of disk space. You can also check the minimum requirements, although I wouldn't recommend those. Even with the recommended specs, I was having problems running it smoothly on a virtual machine, so just go with the recommended. The main desktop environment here is XFCE. And that's it. Now, first of all, I have to say I'm really impressed by how clean this distro is. It ships with very few apps and you get to decide which ones to install. For instance, there's no browser, no media player or any of those related apps that are pre-installed. But from the welcome page, you can easily install browsers and other packages. You can also use the terminal to install from the apt repository since it's Debian based. Although this does not apply to the dev1 version of the OS. It has these amazing wallpapers and a good looking login screen. You can actually log in on any monitor if you have a multiple screen setup. My personal opinions about this distro are a bit mixed. On one hand, I like how it looks and appears and the ability to install most of the packages you need by yourself gives you a lot of freedom and control over your machine. On the other hand, with a dual monitor, having the start button on one screen is a bit tedious every time you want to open a new application. Also switching between open apps, especially when they overlap. Or maybe it's because I'm used to GNOME desktops. Which brings me to the question, can I install GNOME Desktop on this distro? That would be something, right? Make sure to subscribe and be among the first to find out. I will definitely give it a try, so stay tuned. And that's a wrap for today. If you have tried Peppermint OS, let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know if you have tried installing a different desktop environment and how that went. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.